All right. Well, we're just days away yeah. from, you feel like partying again? Did, I may never eat again after Christmas, but yeah. the massive New Year's Eve party in Times Square. Yesterday, we told you about the four going up and being raised is. above the streets. Oh, so this morning, and by the way, I think they should leave the numbers down on the street year round so that everybody can get a picture with it. This morning, right. we're about to get our first glimpse of the new look because every year, the giant ball that drops down and lights up and the world gets all excited about has a new look. Yeah, we're going to put security discussions on the sideline right now yep. and just focus on the fun that this had. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live in Times Square. You know, normally, Anthony, when we see See that ball it's just this distance glowing orb but you've got an up close look what, what can you tell us about it Guys, let me tell you, talk about a front row seat. I mean, this thing is magnificent. I got to I gotta be honest, this is my first time actually getting this close to the big Times Square ball, of course, ahead of the new year here. And as you mentioned, we've got some new exciting things to look forward to. I, I can't hide my excitement. Paul Anka, you guys know who that is, right? Legendary singer-songwriter. He's right back over there. You can see the uh, speakers today introducing the song. program. They're putting on their 2024 uh, glasses right now. Paul Anka will be singing and helping ring in the new year. Take a listen. Right, so a little premature, guys. We haven't, we haven't, of course, rung in the new year just yet. But these are the gentlemen who are putting this all together. They're running through their rehearsal of all this right now. Let me see if I can pull over Jeff Strauss. He's uh, one of the main organizers of the event. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Jeff. Can I grab you for real quick? Hey, Jeff. Can you talk to us here on Channel Seven real quick? Thank you so much, my friend. It's, it's unbelievable. And we're here, we're here talking live on on Channel Seven. Mornings at ten right now. Now, we're talking about a new design. I heard you moments ago talking about the bow tie. Why is that so significant, not only to Times Square, but other places as well? Well, look, the bow tie is a symbol of luxury, but it's also a symbol of Times Square, which is known as the bow tie. I got my bow tie glasses. <laughs> Let me just take that off for a sec. But if you take an aerial view and we're right up above, if you look over the edge there, you'll see two triangles coming together in Times Square, which meet at 45th Street, that create the symbol of a bow tie. And we are celebrating that bow tie pattern, which is also also an iconic part of Fountain Blue's tradition as well. They're celebrating their 70th anniversary, Fountain Blue. We're celebrating our 120th anniversary here in Times Square this year with the New Year's Eve celebration. Talk about iconic. I see that gentleman right there behind you. Let me bring him over real quick. This man here needs no introduction, of course. Paul Anka, Mr. Anka, thank you so much for your time. Hey, listen, I grew up a big fan, Diana. That was one of your greatest hits. What's it mean for you to be here in Times Square, a part of this 2024 celebration? Well, it's kind of mixed. Mixed in all great some memories, you know. Uh, this lucky teenager at 15, that building right across the street, not that one, but an old one. I went up there with a hundred bucks in my pocket, praying that they'd like my music. And I got a contract within an hour, and my song Diana came out, and I was running around New York at 15 going, I made it, I made it. So to be here again with this iconic brand of the Fountain Blue, a place that's no stranger to me, because, you know, I was in Nevada as a kid working with the Rat Pack, and then our next stop was at the Fountain Blue in Miami, a, a different kind of experience for all of us on the beach, a very stylistic hotel where everything went on. When you hang out with those boys, everything happened. So between the Vegas situation and the Fountain Blue that we knew back in the 50s and 60s, it was kind of the foundation of where we are today in terms of performers. To see what Sofer and his team have done in evolving it into the amazing hotel in Las Vegas, taking that name and putting that property that I sang in a couple of weeks ago was just mind boggling because it's certainly a one of a kind property. And to be back in New York, my home, where I started and got lucky, big thrill. First time on a building in Times Square singing because I walked these streets with a hundred bucks in my pocket, having a great time many times. But this will be a first singing with all these people. And for us to confidently say you're one of the greatest of all time. Thank you so much. 
again that bow tie design from Fountain Blue yeah. here in Times Square. Our very own New Year's Eve ball, Paul Anka there, put your head on my shoulder. I could go on and on with all his hits. His music is timeless. Favorite. Guys, this is just a very cool experience. I'm sure you're surprised I even know some of the names of these songs, but I grew up. She's a lady, puppy love. Puppy love. Oh, put your head puppy on my shoulder. Don't make, right. don't make me break out into the rendition. My Please. way, right? You my way way from Frank Sinatra. <laughs> yes, every song was written by him. Nice to see you. Every other song. Anchors are going crazy to just see you here I right now. It. Thank you so much. Pleasure.